I started working on a proxy contract tutorial, which involved deploying a group of contracts to a testnet. When I realized, I've never covered deploying outside of the local hard hat network before. So this is a super basic tutorial on how to deploy your contracts to Ethereum, whether that's mainnet or a testnet. We'll write a super basic contract using hardhat and then deploy it to Robston. Then we'll make a request to one of its functions on Robston to ensure that it's working. Let's go. I have a project set up here with out any contract so far. It does have a .emv file where I have some environment variables set up and it does have some libraries installed. I will list what those are in the video's description. Let's start by creating our basic contract. We'll call this hello world.sol. And in here, we'll be using Solidity 0.8.9. The contract will be called hello world. And it will have a string which is public called name and that name is hello world contract and this is the string that our very simple function will return. We'll also have an address which is also public called owner and then we'll set up our constructor and in the constructor we'll set owner to the address that is deploying this contract and then we'll write our one function called get name. It's external, it's a view, and it returns a string from memory. And then it just returns that name state. And that's it for our contract. Let's compile this to ensure there's no errors. NPX hardhat compile. Now we're going to modify hardhat.config.js and this will allow us to deploy our contract to Robston. So we'll need to require a few things here. We'll require the hardhat toolbox and we will require .env so that we can use our environment variables here. So we need to define an object called networks and in networks, you can define multiple networks. So we'll have our hardhat network and we'll have Robston. Yeah, um, you could also set up more networks here. We don't need to, we're just deploying to Robston and that's it. So inside Robston, we need a URL. And mine is in my .emv file. And this is my infura URL. because we need a node on the blockchain to actually do anything. And then there's an attribute called accounts. And in accounts, you are going to put the secret key of your wallet on Robston. And this is because any deployed contract needs to be deployed from an existing address. And again, I have mine stored in my .emv file, so I'll do process.m private key Robston. Just be careful doing this for mainnet because if you deploy, it will cost real ether from your wallet. Okay, now we're done our configuration. Let's move on to our deploy scripts. So in scripts, I'll create a new file. I'll just name this deploy.js. And again, this will be very simple. Async function main and let's get our deployer await ethers.get signers and then const hello world equals await ethers.get contract factory and pass in the name of our contract which is hello world And then we'll assign that to a variable and await hello world dot deploy or I should say we will assign the deployed 
instance to a variable called hello world with a lowercase first letter. And we're doing this because we want to print the address that it was deployed to. If you find the video you're watching helpful, do me a huge favor. Scroll down to the thumbs up, give it a click, and then hit subscribe. It helps keep me motivated to keep making awesome and in-depth blockchain tutorials to help you out. Now back to writing code. That will make it easy for us to find it and uh, call a function on it when it's on Robston. So contract address is, and we can take that variable and on it we just call address. And then I'm going to copy and paste this from the hardhat documentation because I don't want to make a mistake typing that. And that just calls this above function and does some logging. And let me give you the command for deploying this. So this is going to be npx hardhat run scripts slash deploy.js dash dash network robston. And this Robston here is based on the Robston key that we defined in our hardhat.config.js file. If you didn't define that there, then uh, you know you can't do this here. It will say this doesn't exist or something like that. And this here is very similar to how we deploy on localhost. It would just be like, like that. So let's try and deploy this. I'm going to copy and paste this onto the command line. Okay, so the contract address is this on Robston. So you can actually go into Etherscan and paste in the address of your deployed contract and it should come up, which is pretty cool. Now to really ensure that it's there and that it's working, let's write a really small JavaScript script to make a request to that deployed contract. So in, well, I already have an empty file created here called getContractName.js in my root. And in here, I'm going to import ethers. So require ethers. And then I'll require .env. And now we need to reference the artifact of the compiled contract to get its ABI. So const artifact equals require. And let's just double check where the artifact was compiled to. So if we go to artifacts, so artifacts, and let's not forget the dot at the beginning. So artifacts slash contracts slash hello world dot stall slash hello world dot json and if we open that up we can actually see our artifact and the ABI. So let's get back to our script and finish it off. So we will need the address on Robston, which was printed when we deployed it. And then we'll also need, let's not capitalize the const, the provider for Robston. So new ethers dot providers dot JSON RPC provider. And in here, you're going to put your URL for infura. So process.m, and this should not be quoted, process.m dot infura URL Robston. That's what I called it in my .emv file. Now we need to initialize an instance of this pool. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking Uniswap, I'm thinking about pools. No, we need to initialize an instance of this contract. So contract new ethers dot contract. I look at Uniswap way too much. I got Uniswap 
stuck in my head. Okay, so the address on Robston and our artifact, and we'll get the ABI from that, and then the provider on Robston. And that's all we need to initialize the contract. So here we'll set up our main function, a sync function main. And I often forget to actually call that function, so we, we'll just do that now. And then we'll say const message equals await um, hello world con no await contract dot get message. So we are using our initialized contract from up here, then we're calling our get message function on it. And the code here will know how to do that because of the ABI, which was created when we compiled the contract. And then let's just console.log that message. So we'll say the message is dot 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 message. And let's give this a run. Uh, get message is not a function. Did I name it something else? Yes, it should just be get name. Let's run that again. The message is hello world contract. And we are making this request to Robs that and it's returning that. So our contract was successfully deployed and the function on it is working. Deploying is unintuitively easy thanks to hard hat. Deploying the mainnet is just as easy, but again, be careful because it will cost you real ether and we all know how expensive that is. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.